Hello and welcome to my multi-MC tutorial of how to setting up multi-MC after you have installed it. If you don't know what multi-MC is, I recommend checking out my first video about multi-MC where I explain what multi-MC is. And if you don't know how to install it, check out my last video before this one where I, where I show you how to install it. This is how it looks right after we have installed it. And we can do a lot more with this. First off, we need to go into profiles and we need to add our account basically. So we're gonna go in and manage accounts. So right here, we're gonna add, and then I'm gonna add my Minecraft account. So that is going to be the email and the password and you will press okay. And here it is, obviously the, the name of the account will be blurred out, but that is the account right there. And we can now close that and it will be shown right here that you are in fact locked in. Now, personally, I like dark, dark themed a lot. So we're gonna head into settings and take a look at some co a couple of things. So we can choose whether or not to check for updates, user interface, the icons. We have a lot of different icons. As you can see, we have simple dark icons and then we close them and it updates. And, but the ones I like are these simple colored icons. I really like how they look. And that is the, the one that I use. I like dark mode a lot, a lot. So we're gonna add that. There we go. Ah, so soothing to the eyes. Already we're getting so much further. <laughs> console, you actually have the option of getting a console up when you launch your Minecraft. So you can see what is going on and easier see errors and stuff like that. So here are some options for the console. You don't need to configure any of this, but you can say show console, for example, while the game is running. If you want to see maybe errors that is coming, if you're running with mods, for example, as you're playing and automatically close console when the game quits and other stuff like that. We can also go into analytics. And if you don't want to send anonymous usage statistics, you need to tick that off. But under than that, we should be good in here. Next, we go into Minecraft, and this is pretty much the window size that Minecraft maximized or not. And if not maximized, the resolution, the Java, we already fiddled with that when we installed it. We're gonna head into language that is also configured. Now, if you're a, if you're a really big nerd, you can use custom commands. I have personally never used these, but pre-launch command runs before the instance launches and post exit commands runs after it exits. I've never fiddled with any of that and I've never needed to ever. Also, never touched proxy either. Don't need it. External tools, MC edit. You can install a bunch of these things if you want. I might make a tutorial for that separately. Uh, account, that is the account that we just added. And this you just got to leave to default. And that is pretty much all the settings. Very easy, very simple. All you really need to focus on is the Minecraft, external tools if you're interested in that. Again, I'll make a tutorial for that. But mainly these two and in this one, it's mainly just user interface and maybe this. And that, that's pretty much it. Oh, and uh, if you like cats, you, you can uh, talk with the cat. Yeah, fun. The cool thing here is also you can have multiple different account listed. Basically, if you have multiple accounts, you can have them all listed and you can switch between them for whatever reason you're using them for. So that's really cool. Also, there's an update button. No stable updates found, you're running the latest version. So that is really cool. Of course, we have the help tab here, report about Discord, Reddit, and about Multi-MC. And that is pretty much the basic setups after we have now installed it. I will end the tutorial here because I feel like adding instances and uh, sorting them in groups and other stuff like that, I feel like it needs a tutorial for itself so things don't get mixed up too much. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, that's going to be about it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.